Thank you, Eddie. I think you've said <clears throat> most of what I wanted to say anyway, um, so I will be very brief. I just want to remind you that when Melina Mercuri made her appeal in 1982, everybody thought, oh yes, very good idea, right-thinking people. Oh yes, of course the marbles should go back. And what happened? Two people decided to do something about it, and that was the key. Because you have to have action, you have to have commitment to make things happen. And it was James and Eleni Cubitt who decided to set up a committee to campaign for the return of the marbles. And the reunification of the marbles, which is now this worldwide global phenomenon, stems from that very important decision. But you must remember that through the 80s and the 90s, the going was very tough. It was not an easy campaign. As you know, many museums were very, very much opposed to the whole idea, and not only museums. However, they stuck at it. And under the presidency of Robert Browning, who was once my supervisor, I learned about the campaign for the return of the marbles at a very early stage. While I worked in Princeton, I followed it. And when I came back to England, I joined the committee, and I am a very deeply committed uh, member and I speak about this whenever I can because I think it is a critical test of whether the British government and the British Museum can face up to their responsibilities. I just want to mention a couple of incidents. In the 90s, I think it was, I was visiting Eleni and we were talking about the campaign and this and that and she said, I have a problem with the computer, would you help me? And I said, well, I'm no good at computers, you know, you want Anthony for that, he's the computer whiz. No, 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 she said, just give me a hand. And we went down into the basement where she had these telephones, where she had her computer, where she answered all those queries that came in from around the world. You must remember there were those curious students who wanted to know about the campaign. There were prime ministers who wanted to oppose the campaign. There were all those museum curators who wanted to say, we think it's a lot of nonsense, why don't you shut up? And here was her computer, and she was learning email. You know, I thought that was absolutely magnificent. And of course, she mastered it in a trice. And then she was responding by email to all these queries that came in from around the world. Hmm. Now, we are very pleased to be here today to honor Eleni. And I think we should all agree that her achievement has been quite something. And I think it is quite appropriate that we should give her some gifts and we should also perhaps raise a glass, when we get a glass, and toast her. And I would like to think that everybody would agree that we should accept her as the honorary president of all the campaigns that work for the reunification of the marbles. Thank you, Eleni. <laughs>